This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Guardians Crusade. We are in Castle Ryan. I just started going through it last time. Picked up one piece of armor so far in this middle treasure chest. And there are plenty more treasures to get, I believe. Yeah, before I go up those stairs, let's finish exploring this room at least. Another one of these guys. It's a golem, so I wouldn't think it would be susceptible to sleep, but I could try it, I suppose. Just because that's so cheap as far as my psychic points go, that if it works against an enemy, it's really good. Okay, we'll put him to sleep. Okay, there are quite a few different doorways heading out of here. Kind of makes me wonder which way I should go first. Okay, got some different enemies here. What are these guys? Okay, well they're shooting lasers at me. And biting me. Uh. A gr... A... A gr dragon? Barra Dragon? I don't know. Try to do as usual here. I'm gonna try to put him to sleep the first time I encounter an enemy. Just so I can see what they do. But going forward, probably. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Well, for now, I already beat one of them. Let's just see if they're susceptible to sleep. Most of the enemies so far seem to be. Yep, these guys are not an exception. Oh, he woke up though. Got some good hits in on him though while he was asleep. Come on, big money. Yep, they are worth about 5,000 apiece as well. Up to 42. Okay, I'd rather not go upstairs, I don't think yet. Eh, yeah, you know what? Let's just do this one first. If it connects and has more paths, maybe I'll come back, but otherwise, let's just see where this path will take me. Okay, there's a treasure with a uh, living toy freaks. And this looks like a switch, I would say. So maybe this will open up something else. Hmm, a red switch. I wonder what it does. Well, I guess it's not going to let me press it. Maybe we'll find something that's shut and then we'll need to come back here and press it. Seems kind of dumb. Why not just let me press it? What's the freaks do? Okay, terrorizes everybody. Freaks them out. Get my good old buddy Sigmund out here.
Yeah, it does seem like they do. They do, they do take um, significantly increased damage while they're sleeping as well, which is a good point to it. So not only is it that they're not damaging me, I can also take them out more quickly. Yeah, I could have got through the door before this guy, but I thought, why not? We'll just try to fight more. It keeps me getting leveled up as I go through here. And we can certainly handle the guys around here. I said last time yesterday, yesterday as I came over here, that I kind of wanted to see if we could take care of these guys or if we'd get um, in over our heads. And yeah, it seems like we're going to be fine here. There we go. Eh. I always get a little excited when I see the uh, critical hits, but then they always disappoint me a little bit because they're not really that much better than my regular hits anyway. Okay. Got a white shield. Pretty sure that's one that I could buy, though, anyway. Hey, okay, Dark Sword. I believe Bonique has those for sale. So I will let Baby have that one as a snack. And the white shield. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping or kind of thinking maybe I'd be able to finish this place off today, but we're still pretty early in, but I feel like if I spend time fighting these guys here, just because they do have quite a bit of HP and it takes a little bit to beat them, might actually take more than that to get through all the treasures here. If we get to the point where I can just take care of these guys quickly or if they actually start not approaching me, I might just ignore them and try to clear this place out. But as long as we're still at the point where they will actually come after me, I'm not going to avoid them and I'm just going to fight them. Because we need the experience anyway. This might just reconnect with the, the front room. That's kind of what I was trying to check here. That's why I came that way. Yeah, okay. This time I'm gonna go straight this way. Let's see where this leads me to. Found another treasure. Another spinach snack. Since I have access to those unlimited for free in Garum, I'm not really too worried about that. I think this might actually be the way to go to get to the end of this place. Okay, I've got a sick weed. It's like we're in a kitchen or something here.
we do have a different enemy here though too. Didn't really pay enough attention to what his name is. A dark demon. Okay. It makes sense. Could probably heal baby though. If our HP does cap out at 999, Baby's getting pretty close to that. Probably two more levels or something. And then he started blasting. Yeah, he's worth about as much as the rest of them. They're all fairly equal in that regards, it seems like. Okay. Got another treasure down here. Earth Ring, which I'm sure absorbs the opposite power of what its name is. Or protects against, yeah. Powers up against wind. Okay, yeah. The so fire and water and earth and wind are the opposites for each other. Okay, another new one. Got a lot of swords. And it is Swordster. Okay. Since we're facing him for the first time, I won't pull out Freud. We'll just see what he can do. Not too much tonight. Yeah, that's about right. But we took him down. Pretty easy. Up to 43. Okay. Toadstool. Quite a few treasures down in the basement here. Most of them haven't been really anything that great. I guess the Earth Ring, depending on how you're looking at it, could be pretty good. Now, this time I'll see if I can put this guy to sleep. Okay. As long as he stays asleep, he keeps a cake. Alrighty. Didn't go in this room yet, I don't think. Like a library or a conference room. Cheeseburger. Yeah, I better check out my inventory. It might be getting a little full. Better give some of this stuff to baby. I think the cheeseburger automatically went to baby already, it looks like. That'll help.
Got a demon sword? I highly doubtful that would be better than what I got. Yeah. Actually, didn't let baby eat it. Okay, there is a treasure here. A new snack. And another toadstool. That's the library, I guess. Um, uh, well, it goes farther down into the basement. Since I'm already on this path, though, we're just going to keep taking it. Even if it does lead me to the end of the dungeon. Because we can always just make our way back out and check out the rest of the stuff on our way out. Alright, 43 for baby. I would have to imagine that we're not going to get to the point where we would level up past the enemies approaching me in here. But, you never know. Well, okay. I guess some of them, at least, are not going to approach me anymore. Which one's strong enough that it will still approach me? Probably like that sword guy. Yeah. But if some of them are already to the point where they don't want to approach me, another level for night, or maybe one for each of us, should get us to that point. These guys were all worth quite a bit of money, too. I kind of wonder how much I built up. Wasn't really paying attention last time I went into the menu. Let's check that out, too. Because when each fight's worth the better part of 10,000. Yeah, 175,000 again already. Let baby carry a couple of these. I don't need that many in my active inventory. What is that? Let me get this treasure first, maybe, and then I'll talk to this guy. Okay, I got Assassin. Use Machine Gun after three turns? Okay. No Owl. Woo hoo. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. Have you seen the red switches? Woo. If you, woo hoo, want to get to the heart of the castle, you must turn all four of the switches on, woohoo. Okay, so now that I've talked to him and he said that, I guess I can go back and press that one switch. And then try to find the rest of them. So maybe we did need to come down here for that.
Thanks for the heals, Nahani. Well, he woke up, but he didn't have time to do anything. Wonder what... Where will the switches unlock, though? Am I gonna have to come back down here again? Kinda feel like I might have to. For now, let's just make our way through the basement again. If I can, I'll just avoid these guys for now. We've been having enough fights through here. And I'm kind of backtracking anyway. Um, instead of going back to that first switch I saw though, let's keep going this way. Just to continue exploring because I have three more switches I need to find anyway. They might just all be upstairs, so maybe that's... Any staircase I come across will lead to a switch, maybe. Oh, one treasure chest. Okay, dark shield. That's another one that I'm I'm sure it's not better than what I have, but it probably would be a set of dark armor that I'm gonna find in here. So I'll just hold on to him and let baby carry him. And yes, this connects back to the front entrance. So let me come back in here and take that other one. That other path here. And that'll probably bring me back to that central big room. And all of these enemies are running away from me anyway, so it makes navigation pretty easy here. I didn't go on here. Ah. Door is stuck, so that's what the switch is open, it seems like. This was the one I had already gone up to, I think. So there's going to be a staircase on each corner of this big room, it looks like. So I just got to go up each of them and go to the switch. Pretty sure this is the one I did already. Yep, I already got the treasure. You want to try to turn this switch on? Yes. Maybe the switch is broken. Nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened until you hit all four of them. Let me check that shield quick. Yeah. Thought so. Another living toy, Dr. Gas. Maybe the switch is broken. Nothing happened. Keep telling yourself that. What is Dr. Gas? Blows poison gas on everyone. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Okay, we got both the ones on the west side. 
I believe. Leave the two on the east. They're each going to have a treasure chest, it seems like. I think so far they've been, all of them have been living toys. And I think that one said Confuso. Yeah, confuses everyone. Now by everyone, they mean everyone? Like even me? That's the case, I'd never want to use that damn thing. I don't remember the enemies around here being tougher. Maybe by that I just remember them being a good source of experience. But yeah, because even now already we're at the point where we're on level with what they're going to want me to be at, it seems like. Another living toy, Classique. Let's check out what that is before I hit the switch. Puts everyone to sleep. I already have a toy that does that. It is the different symbol next to the toy. So I guess I would have to check out and see what the difference is there. Hmm. Nothing happened. Yeah. Woke too soon. Hear that? What was that? What happened? Well, I have to assume that that door opened. I guess I could have explored that room a little more, but it didn't really seem like there was anything there. I think I've gotten pretty much all the treasure in this place, other than a piece of holy armor that we're going for. Probably guarded by a guardian again. Is it going to be different than the other one? Possess the armor worn by the holy warrior Darwin. You must demonstrate your worthiness. We intend to. We intend to. That hurt a little bit. Wasn't the first enemy that I've seen that could do that. Let's see, how much do some of these cost? One zero. So it says use it half of your. Well, whatever. A lot of these are pretty cheap. Gabriel, of course. Yeah. Well, let's not look around with that too much. Try and get this fight done for before the end of the day. I'm already about at the point where I'd be about up on time for where I like to end these, but let's finish this fight off and call it there for today, I think. Hopefully we should be able to finish it up without healing night. That helps. Alrighty.
and he got up to level 44. So I guess the basement would be the best place to go here to um, grind for experience if you want, because those sword guys are down there. Although, we did find that one group of guys that, you, that can show up in two, so that would be better if you can get that, I suppose. And yes, we did get the holy sword here, which once again, pretty sure it's not going to be better than my sword. I still have enough room in my inventory, though. I'll still hold on to the Holy Sword and the Holy Helmet. Instead of letting Baby carry him. Now, before we quit, I just wanted to go back to this warp room. Check that. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything in here. Oh, looks like there's a mural on the wall back there, or some kind of painting. That's supposed to be Darwin? I don't know. But we are going to go ahead and call it there for today. Next time, I think we'll um, we'll pick up and I'll get out of here. I'll probably just warp out. And then we're going to just fly north to the next area, the Denim Plains. Denim. Because that should be where the next piece of armor is hidden. In the tree stump, I think it said. And I'll probably try to find an inn on the way somewhere. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far... Please like, comment, and subscribe or follow, and we'll catch you next time.